Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it's all about the west. Initially, this Arctic front, and then this back-to-back -back sort of storm system combo that's setting up. Here's the view from uh, Big Sky, and again, it's Montana, Idaho, really only going to going to get snow from the initial surge and you're reporting three or four inches of new snow and that's probably going to do it through big sky. Um, down in Jackson Hole we're reporting a foot of new snow over the last 24 hours. Now you can see the sun is out. You may still get a couple three more inches before all is said and done this week but it's a nice view there on this President's Day in Jackson Hole. It is snowing right now in Alta Snowbird in the Wasatch. You may get six to ten inches over the next two or three days in the Wasatch, but good to see the snow coming down in uh, in Alta right now, at Alta right now. Here's the setup. So big dip right here, and then it amplified way up into, uh, this is the jet stream, way up into Alaska. It's reaching up and grabbing all this cold air out of the Arctic, and then it's dropping it down like this. And then there's the dip over Utah and Colorado. So all this energy is gonna come up over the top and spill down. There's your initial load that's dropping through with the Arctic front right now. But all this energy will come in on the back side and become the second piece. So you'll have the initial storm, and then there's going to be a second storm on the back side, which rotates in or piggybacks in on the first one. So it's a two-storm combo for most of the West. Let me show you what the GFS thinks about all of this. All right, so let me take you into Tuesday morning. And you can already see, in fact, the second storm diving down uh, into California. Great to see the snow in California after such a long, dry stretch. Um, and then that storm comes in on the back side of the first one. So here's Tuesday afternoon. Here's Wednesday morning. Here it comes. The heaviest snow overall, the biggest totals, will be in western and southwest Colorado because you're going to get hit by not just the first storm, but the second storm. The second storm comes in, throws, to all, throws all that moisture, all that wind energy into a very cold air, air mass, and we're going to see some very nice ratios and our graphic snows out of this in western and southwest Colorado. All right, so here's Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon. Here's Thursday morning, snow through northern New Mexico, southern Colorado. Here is Thursday afternoon. Here's Friday morning. One little area of uh, tiny snow coming in on the backside there. You can see the light blues coming down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and through Colorado um, through Thursday, Friday on the backside. And then that's it. Everything dries out, and then we're back to high pressure. Here's Saturday morning right here. Here's Sunday morning. So we're back to high pressure across the west after the storm departs. All right, let's run down my totals. Um, so basically all of today through the 24th, um, again, 6 to 10 for the Wasatch Front, 1 to 2 feet, Brian Head. Again, maybe another couple to 3 inches through the Tetons. And look at the numbers in California. Um, that second storm brings the totals up to about 10 for Tahoe and about 8 in Mammoth, 4 in Shasta. In Colorado, the western slope, um, Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass running down into the San Juans over Wolf Creek and Silverton and Telluride Purgatory will get the biggest totals of all. 1 to 2 feet potentially two to three feet in some of these areas. Two to three feet appears common west and southwest Colorado, one to two feet over Tahos, um, about a foot through Ski Santa Fe and Angel Fire, about a foot over Vail, Breck, Summit County, and the tunnel, and then up to Steamboat. Um, so that's phase one. Let me show you phase two, the 25th through March 2nd. Very quiet across the Intermountain West because the storm track will shift back to the Pacific Northwest and BC, and that's where the biggest totals are going to be, the 25th through the 2nd of March. All right, so let's zoom in on Southern Colorado all of today through the 24th. Again, this is where I think the biggest totals are gonna be, two to three feet. Um, and you can see it over the high peaks. I've got some of them marked, the Olas, Silverton Mountain, Dallas Peak, down to Wolf Creek Summit, even down to the valley floors because the cold air is gonna be so significant. We're gonna see a foot or more over Durango, in Durango, in the town of Durango, Bayfield. Uh, snow into the San Luis Valley as well. Snow up in a Salida, Buena Vista, if you're going to be in that area. Um, so that is the close-up. Let me show you my snow plume for Aspen Snowmass. Awesome place to be between uh, today, tomorrow, and the 24th. I'm looking at about two feet of snow on the way in Aspen Snowmass over the next few days. Um, let's look at the northeast. So these storm systems will come out of the Intermountain West and then they will hit the northeast. The first storm is mainly rain. The second storm at the end of the week, that's the one that delivers 90% of these totals that you see on this map. Um, and a lot of that's Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. 
um, for the biggest totals, especially up in Vermont. And that runs all of today through the second. All right, so there we go. We've got some great snow on the way for the West. I hope that you can you know, find a place to go, get set up there, stick it out, and enjoy these big totals. And with temperatures this cold, it is going to be some cold smoke powder. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it.